everyone, it's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and I'm here with a brand new series, Mountain Blade Warband Game of Thrones Edition. Now, Lance told me about this game, and I was like, mm, I'm not really big on the strategy games, but this game is so cool. And I gotta give it to Lance, man. Lance, if you're watching this or even listening to this, dude. Baller game, so baller. But I found this mod where we play the Game of Thrones, and um, they have a little prelude here. So let's go ahead and continue. Let's see it. A world of ice and fire. If you wish to survive in this world, I recommend that you listen carefully. Westeros. Dark times have befell this once in the fine land, pushing this content once again in the, into turmoil. Filled with the rotting smell of death, whilst rivers flow red from blood of fallen foes and tortured victims. Oof. It's a is it gonna like continue? Or is it like there we go? It takes a hot second there. To the north of the vast uh, continent is King Rob Stark, Lord of the w Lord of Winterfell and head of House Stark. Called by his bannermen, he is now ruling and declared King of the North. At war with the Lannisters and King Joffrey, he seeks out King's Landing to the south. Although the Lannisters are ruled by Lord Tywin Lannister, King's Landing is ruled by okay. In order to bolster their influence and forces the Lannisters propose an alliance with the Prince of Doran, uh, Nimrod's Martell of Dorne, and head of House Martell. They accepted Lord Tywin's offer of marriage, okay? Located in the Vale, an isolated mountainous part of Westeros, sits Lord Robin, defender of the Vale and warden of the East. Lord Robin is a small boy and the only surviving child of the heir, Lord John Aaron. At this time, House Aaron are neutral in the now, it's funny because Redbeard likes to make fun of me for this. They call me, um, what do they, what do they call it? It's like Little Robin or something like that because that's what they call them in the show. And that's like their nickname for me. It kind of pisses me off. Um, heading south, Lord Mace Tyra, Warden of the South, High Marshal of the Reach, and Lord of Highgarden has decided to back King Renly to sit at the Iron Throne. It's getting beefy, guys. King of Salt and Rocks. Okay, this is just pretty much telling you where everyone's from. You know, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones yet, I feel bad for you. Let's go to character creation. Um, I've actually never read the book, so we're going to go with HBO's. Um, let's see. Choose your scenario. Static Wars. Wester, uh, Westeros factions will be locked in diplomacy according to the Wars of the Five Kings. Normal. The same as above, but all factions, except the Night's Watch are free to declare war in peace as they choose, much like normal war band. <sighs> you know what? Let's go Static Wars. Gender. Male, obviously. Uh, people. Westerland. Uh, free Cities. The Reach. Ironborn. Free Folk. Dothraki. Valerian. Vale, Riverlands. You know what? Let's go ahead. Let's be Valerian. We'll be a tall Valerian. Uh, father. My father was... Uh, a... Mm, lesser noble or a lord's retainer? We'll go with... Lesser noble. Childhood. I was an acolyte. Uh, vocation, merchant, blacksmith, poacher, a begging brother, uh, merchant, free, peasant, bard, retainer, slave. Uh, I'll be a lesser noble. Fate. Lust for money and power. Being forced out of your home. Um, religious fervor. We'll do this one. Religion. The faith of the seven. The Drowned God, Old Gods of the Forest, and Rolar. We'll do the Old Gods of the Forest. Trait. I can't really grab it. There we go. Warrior or Natural Leader. We'll go with Warrior. You are of Valerian descent, tall and strong. Your native tongue is High Valerian, and you are a descendant of the people and culture native to the Valerian Peninsula on the con uh, continent of Asos. Originally a community of shepherds, the Valerians rose to prominence after discovering dragons in a volcanic area of their home peninsula known as the Fourteen Fires. Your father was of lower noble class and possessed the five acres possessed five acres of land. He owed uh, military service to the king and went to war with his re uh, re 
Ratuni, whenever was required. Um, in your early ages, you were sent to live with the nearest sept to be trained as a septon. Um, as such, you were one of the few boys who learned how to read and write. Life as a sept was strict. There wasn't much time to play. Being lesser lord, you carried out many duties to your overlord and the king. In a war, you were expected to fulfill your overlord's demands. And um, the faith in which you follow the old gods is more personal and less structured or elaborate than other religions. You are strong and fearsome, and being able to let rip huge roars in battle, scarring anyone who dares to approach you. Yes. Okay. Now, I know it's supposed to be a dragon. Wait, is there... Oh, there is. Is there, like, a dragon? That's not much of a dragon. Oh, there's only two pages? Uh, let's see. We will be... What should our banner be? We shall be known as the Twin Phoenixes. Uh, no quitting without saving. Allow me to quit without saving. Okay. Um... Lord Arcavius. Here we go. Now this stuff isn't going to matter too much because what I'm going to do is is that we're actually going to play through as a <laughs> horseman of the apocalypse. So we are going to be known as um, the uh, oh, what should we know, be known as? Um, we should be known as the horseman's shepherd, which means we have the abilities of all of the. Uh, all the horsemen, so death, pestilence, um, uh, famine, and... Ah, oh, last one. I can never remember the last one. But that's okay. So we're going to level up a little bit. Like, I'm going to give myself some levels. And being Valerian, we're going to have money. So I'm going to have a little bit more money to spend and, you know, be useful with. So I'll be right back and uh, once we're done with all this. It seems that I have found a raven. Um, and this raven was meant to go to King Stannis Baratheon. I believe in the show, this never made it there, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Yeah, faster than you, Mr. Poachers. Yeah. Now, of course, even though we are assuming the roles of the horsemen, um, we are st we're going to, uh, what's it called? Um, there's gonna be an ability, it's gonna be called Pestilence. And I haven't figured out death yet because I don't know what the console command is for that. Um, but there is a command that allows you to knock out everybody that is on the battlefield for the enemy. So what I'm thinking is, is that in order to use Pestilence's ability, we have to be able to ride right past the enemy without them uh, hitting us. So that's going to be the plan of it. Um, we're almost at Winterfell, which we need to recover these, uh, send these two, uh, back here for. And then, um, once we do that, I'm not really sure. Oh, Lord. We are, fr uh, Northern Horsemen. We are free brothers. We'll fight only for ourselves from now on. Now give us your gold or taste our steel. Uh, you have encountered broken men. You have three troops ready to fight in your name against their 24. Oh, shit. Um,. Plan your battle with the enemy, take the field, lead your troops. Uh, charge the enemy. Let's go. Tactical control. Okay, if I'm on my horse, this is going to be a lot easier. Yes. I'd have to run. If, if I can make it by without one of their archers hitting me, then that's going to be the best case scenario here. Yes. The power of pestilence is strong. Yes. Now, of course, we will still fight. You know, it's not going to be all, you know, just cheatsy doodles and being dumb. But you know what, man? I kind of like doing this. I was playing it like this last night. It's, it's pretty baller. Um, so, you know, the weird thing is that I have... Yes. 
You were victorious. Your casualties, none. Enemy casualties, 12 northern horsemen, 12 minor wounded. And the funny thing is that they're always all wounded, so we can, we can take them as prisoners. This is actually kind of funny. Um, uh, clansmen, northern horsemen, northern clansmen. I'll capture all five of you. Uh, gazing at the maimed in the dead of your latest victory, you order your troops to bury the dead, gather and share any loot as is common. You estimate this will take three hours. Leave the dead to rot, but take first claim on the looted corpses. You estimate this will take one hour. Bury the dead and leave all the loot. You estimate this will take two hours. We'll do this one. Has increased the morale of your men. Cracked sling. We'll take the horse. See, this is a Oh, it's a one-handed as well. Huh, okay. There we go. So that might have taken a little time, but you know what, man? It's better to be kind to the dead than uh, be a dick, you know? Yeah, let's get into Winterfell. Uh, game, please. Don't crash. Please. Thank you. Uh... Visit Lord's Hall. Oh, visit Lord's Hall. I think that's what I need to go to. Kingdom Bard. Maester Lewin. <laughs> hey, Rob Stark. What's up? Do I know you? Um, I am Lord Arcavius. I'm Lord Rob Stark, the ruler of the North and the Lord of the Winterfell. Lord Kaelin, Norian, Fever. I see that you carry a nobleman's banner, but I do not recognize the sigil. No doubt you have come here in search of wealth and glory. This indeed is the case, and I only ask that you show mercy to those poor souls caught in the path of war. I have urgent news that I travel from King's Landing with two of your loyal soldiers. I'm here to tell you that your lord, father, Eddard Stark, has been taken into Lannister custody for reasons of high treason. I thank you for your loyalty in these desperate times, Lord Arcavius, though the news has already reached us. I hope you'll jump. <laughs> What a waste. Um, Tyron really does shit cold. Um, war in the south. I've got a problem that taken care of. Uh, I'm willing to help. Some wildling scum have managed to pass the wall, and my scouts report they've attacked a small farmstead just north of here. I need them dealt with quickly before they're able to wreak more, wreak more havoc among the peasants. My bannermen need to need to prepare for our march south, so I'm counting on you, Lord Cavus, to act on my behalf in this matter. I suggest you grab some sleep before heading out. It may also be wise for you to ride with the bodyguard too. Lester's is a dangerous place to be traveling alone. Thanks, uh, thanks for the information, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, my lord, I will write a poem so epic that all will jump for joy. 700 coins. Jesus, what an insult. You asked for the same amount of money as a whore. <laughs> My god. That was brutal, dog. Uh, trade with locals. Now we'll leave. Okay, broken men. Okay, so we need to go to a farm that's north of here. There's Castle Black. Uh, you must make sure the letter you found makes its way to King Stannis Baratheon. Oh, okay, not this one. Find the farm north of Winterfell and remove the wildling right, uh, raiders. Once complete, return to King Robb Stark. Okay, north. Is it that one? Uh, oh, there is things beyond, beyond the wall. That's pretty dope. Not really... Oh, north of Winterfell. Okay, so it wasn't exactly north yet. That's where I left the bodies. Nore. Long Lake. The Dreadford. Okay. Okay, I think it's this one.
We got, dude, we're getting so much damn food from all that foraging. I think this is it. Kind of wish it would tell me like which it was. Twelve northern clansmen volunteer to follow you. Yes. Um, what did I say? Something much like lowly peasant, you lose renown and reputation. Lose two renown, you lose reputation. Wow. Okay, so this isn't it then. Okay, am I just gonna keep working hard for this village? Like, come on, I wanna move. Fruit nine more. Right, let's leave. Okay, that obviously wasn't it. Long Lake, maybe? Not really sure, because I'm. The normal game, I'm balling out of control. It's so much fun. But this is just kind of confusing. farm north of Winterfell. Okay, I'm guessing it's just gonna be called farm. You can't be talking about going past the wall. There's no way. I can't seem to f uh, find it, but guys, I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, of course. If you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new edition of the Ark Army. Guys, if you want me to keep playing this game, let me know down in the comment sections. And, uh, guys, I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. This is your lovable big boy, signing out. Peace. Yeah.